Hello everyone, this is Pippin Williams with Pippin'sPlugins.com, and I'm going to give you a quick demo of easy custom content types. This is a plugin that allows you to, within just a couple of seconds, create unlimited custom post types, custom taxonomies, and custom meta boxes that you can use to dramatically extend the power of your WordPress install. So let's go and take a quick look around. Uh, once you have the plugin activated, this is a simple little welcome screen that you'll see that talks a little bit about the plugin, what custom post types are, custom taxonomies, meta boxes, etc. So let's go and add in a custom post type. Let's pretend for a moment that we want to set up a, a books section to our website. So we're going to do book reviews or talk about books or something like that. So we simply add in a custom post type called books. We fill out the, um, some of the information in the form. Most of these we're going to leave as default, though if you want, you can go through and enable or disable each of these options. Notice that there is a small blue help icon next to each one that will explain exactly what the option is if you don't quite understand it from the label. Uh, we're going to go in and fill in this last bit of information. It's all very simple and you can add it very quickly. Add post type. Now we can see the books has been um, added. We also see a notice that says the post type added. You should update your permalinks now. So let's go and save our permalinks just to make sure that we don't get any 404 errors. Okay, our permalink structure has been updated. Let's go take a look at our books. Here they are. And we see that we have a book called Lord of the Rings. This is one that I added earlier, so uh, it's, already, it's already there. But we can go in go view Lord of the Rings. We can see here's the information, we can view it, and it looks normal just like any other post on our, on our site, except that it's a custom post type called books. Um, so let's go and add in a custom taxonomy to this book, and let's call it genres. Genres makes a lot more sense than categories does when you're talking about books. So we simply say it's called genres, we give it, a, we attach it to books, we're going to say a single genre is a genre, a plural, etc. We're going to add an option and click add taxonomy. Once we've done that, we see that it's been added. And if we go under books, we see we now have a section called genres. And you can see each of our genres right here. Let's go back to books for a moment. And we see that Lord of the Rings is categorized under fantasy. Well, let's say that maybe we wanted that to be under sci-fi instead. I know that's not technically correct, but whatever. So we can simply click add new genre, and there it is. Okay, now let's say that we want to add additional information to our post type, to our books, that allows you to enter custom information about this book. So we want to know the author name, we want to maybe know the publication date, etc. So we go to our content types, go to meta boxes, and we can add in one called book information. We can choose the post type that receives this meta box, and in this case it's going to be books. If you want, you can attach it to multiple post types by simply uh, holding down your control or command key and selecting multiple ones. We're going to get, we can get, choose a context. Uh, normal or side is fine, basically in the main column or on the right column. And we can give it a priority. So let's give it a high priority. We want to display it up at the top. So click Add Meta Box, and there it is. And now let's click Edit Fields, and we can enter fields into this meta box. So for one, let's do Author Name. Enter the book author. Give it a description. Click Add Field. And now let's go take a look and see what this looks like. Go to Lord of the Rings. And now we see author name. Enter the book author. Well, his name is J.R.R. Tolkien, just like that. We click Update, and we see that that information has been saved right there. Okay, so let's add in a few more fields. Let's say uh, publication date, the date the book was published. I'm having a, a little trouble typing, apparently. We can choose a, a type, and in this case, we're going to choose a date field. So we click Add Field, and now we go over here, and we can see right here it says Publication Date. We click in here, and it brings down a date picker that allows us to choose the date the book was published. And we're going to call it March 1st, 2012, which is obviously not correct. That's fine, though. Now let's go and add in a few more fields. Let's add one called Main Characters. Enter the names. of the main characters in the book. Just like that. Give it a description. And now we can choose one called repeatable. Click add field. And now we go over here and refresh. And we see we have our main characters, Bilbo, Frodo, Gandalf. Now I had already populated these beforehand, which is why they're already here. But you can see that if we wanted to add in a few more characters, for example, Aragon, update. And we can see he's been stored there now too. If we want, we can add in another one or another, or another. Or we can get any, rid of any one of these that we don't want. We can also drag and drop them into the order that we want. Update. And we can see all of this extra information is here, 
and when displayed on the front end of the website, it makes everything much, much easier because now the person who's adding the book can simply go in here and instead of worrying about formatting all of their information in the main editor box, they can just simply go in, fill in each of the, the fields, and then this information is displayed by the theme on the front end of the website. Let's go and take a look and view this book on the front end. Well, Easy Content Types has an option to automatically display meta information that's entered inside of this meta box. And you can see it displayed right here. So we see author name, along with the title or the description, J.R.R. Tolkien, main characters, publication date, etc. And we can actually customize how this is displayed under settings. So oops, let's go to the settings page. And now under here, under the auto display meta field values, for example, we have an option to disable field descriptions. So now we go over here. Well, we don't want this to be displayed because that was really just for the admin purposes. So we refresh and now all we see is author name, main characters, publication date. That's pretty cool. Now let's go in and add another field in here called book cover. And let's choose an upload field because we want to upload an image to this. Now let's, we go back to our books, go to the Lord of the Rings, and we have a new upload field right here called book cover. And you can see we can just upload, we can choose an image. I'm going to choose this one, even though this is obviously not the image of the Lord of the Rings book, that's fine. I'm going to click update. And now we refresh over here and we can see there's our nice book cover, nice green trees. Now, something else that's really cool is that over here in the meta boxes, if you want, you can actually change the order that these fields are displayed. So let's say we don't, we want the book cover at the very, very top. Well, you can simply click and drag the handle, drag it right there, refresh the page, and now the book covers at the top. And all of these automatic meta display options are completely optional. If you want to have complete control over them, you can simply disable it, disable each of these. You can actually choose to display individual field types or not display field types. Click Save Options, and now you'll see that nothing is displayed right here. But you can then still use these options and display them inside of your, your theme template using the custom template tags included with Easy Content Types. You can also display um, any of the information you want with the short codes. You can see that every single field receives a short code right here. So let's take this short code, for example, and let's paste it into our book. So all we want to do is display the information uh, that's entered into the author name. So we say ECBD field, give it the ID, update, and now we can view this information and we see JRR Tolkien. So this is very, very powerful and you can display a lot of information very easily um, and you can create the option to enter all this information in mere minutes. Here we are eight minutes into this video and I've already added a custom post type, a custom taxonomy, and added a ton of extra meta information via a custom meta box to this post type in all under eight minutes. And that's why I'm describing this to you. So once you know how to do it, you can do all of this in mere seconds. Now, another feature that's really, really cool that I would like you to see is the export option. Let's say, for example, that you have a client website and you would like to use easy content types to build all of your post types, your taxonomies, and your meta boxes. And then you want to get rid of the plugin. You don't want the plugin to be activated. So you simply export all of the code and drop it in. So here you can see, this is all of the, the code for our currently active post types, all of the code necessary for our currently active taxonomies, and all of the code necessary for our currently active meta boxes and meta fields. So you can simply take all of this code, drop it into a custom plugin, drop it into your themes functions file, and you will have your books post type with your genres and all of your meta information right here, ready to use without the need of having the plugin activated. So that's really, really cool. So Easy Content Types provides a great interface for you to add post types, taxonomies, and meta boxes all in mere minutes or seconds even without ever touching a single line of code and it integrates perfectly with the WordPress UI. So let's say for example that you have a power client who knows their way around WordPress, understands these, but they want the ability to add new sections to their to their WordPress at any time. So for example, they have a books section, they have a movie section, and then suddenly they decide they want a music section. Well, since they have easy content types active, they can go in and add that themselves and they don't even need you to do it. Or you can do it for them using the plugin. Forget about writing lots and lots of complicated code to set up your post types, your taxonomies, and your meta boxes. You can do it in seconds with easy content types. You can easily customize all of the options the post type has. So for example, we can go in here and edit this at any time, rename our post type, 
remove attributes. So for example, let's say we don't want revisions, we don't want a thumbnail, we don't want excerpts, and we don't want comments on the post type. We simply change those options, click update, go to our post type, and you will see all of those options are now gone. So our admin screen has now become much, much more sim simple. Let's say we also don't want the author. Simply check that, update, refresh, and now the author option is gone as well. You can add any of these in back at any time. So we can click thumbnail, click update, refresh, and now the featured image is back. You can do that with meta boxes, taxonomies, and post types. You can edit them at any time. Something else that's pretty cool is that you have the ability to simply duplicate meta boxes. So I can say duplicate. And now I have a second meta box for the book information. I go over here and refresh my screen and I see a duplicated meta box that I can now modify if I want to change it slightly, apply it to a different post type, whatever I want to do. It's very, very powerful. Something else that's really cool is let's say you want a meta box that is only for a very specific page. So let's go into pages, for example, let's go to contact us and let's say that we want extra information about the contact page right here. Well, I can go into my meta box section. I can, uh, let's actually remove this one from pages real quick because you might have noticed that we saw our book information right here. And well, that's because pages was selected. So now I refresh the screen and now that's gone. But now let's add another meta box and let's add it to the contact page only. So let's call it contact information. We can simply enter it to pages. We want to go and retrieve the ID for our contact page, which you can't see my URL bar at the moment, but the ID number is paid, is number 23. So now I can say 23 right here, add meta box. Let's just give it a field real quick and let's just call it phone number. Just like this, add the text. Okay, and now let's go look at our contact page. There it is, and we see contact information, phone number. Now, because this is contact information, it really doesn't apply to, say, the profile page. So we go to profile and notice that it's not there. So we have page-specific meta boxes that allow you to only show this meta box information on a very specific page. If you wanted to, you can actually add it to multiple pages. So let's say we want to add it to the profile page as well. Well, this one has an ID number of 3154. So we go back over here, we edit our meta box, edit, and we simply add in the extra ID number separated by a comma. Click update, and now it's available on both pages, both the profile and also the contact information page. So this is Easy Custom Content Types. It allows you to add these post types, taxonomies, and meta boxes in just seconds, minutes, all extremely, extremely easy to use. It's geared both to developers and non-developers alike, um, and it will dramatically extend the power of your WordPress install. Thanks for watching.